Hello YouTube, real shooting here. We are out at the little local pond again. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another kit slam. This is actually the panfish kit. I've been looking at these online. I really like the colors that come in here. I'll try to open this without dropping any. Whole bunch of, this is an 85 piece kit. So you have 15 of the 164 ounce jig heads. And as you can see, you got seven different colors. I really like this color here, that black and chartreuse. But I already rigged on this first one here, black with mealworm. And we're gonna go through and try to catch a fish on all these colors. Now, last time I did the trout magnet kit slam, it was for the 192 piece kit. I was at this pond, but a different part of it. A part where I know the panfish are piled up. But uh, there's a lot of fish here, so I wanted to try it here just to change it up a little. I think we'll still get many bass and many bluegills. Let's get started. All right, you guys, there you can see the first color, black with mealworm. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, I finally, this is my light action rod right here, the Cast King Calamus. I finally put my two pound line on this spool. As you can see, light action power. It's rated for four to eight pound line. I've been using my two pound line on another rod which was actually a medium action. Let's see how it casts on here. About the same. I'll say it's about the same. Although the other rod was a medium action, it did feel like a light. That was the Ugly Stick GX2. Oh yeah, I can see that lure. Very nice. Let's cast towards the little drain pipe. Definitely get like a rod flex when you cast this lure. You can really load up that little light lure. I'm curious to see how the bite feels. I've never fished two pound line. Oh, there we go. On this rod. That definitely felt like a strong hit. Nice little bluegill. First fish of the day. They bit the black and mealworm color. Let me try to wet my hands a little for safe handling of the fish. Oh, he's flapping a little. He's flapping. Oh, oh, he's very slippery. We got him. Hooked on the side of the mouth. First color knocked out very quickly. Oh, he's ready to go. He is ready to go. That was that black and mealworm color. Let's switch out to the next color. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, there we go with that black and red color. Very nice pattern on this. I also believe this color will get a bite very quickly, just like the other one did. First fish was a bluegill. Let's see if we can get a bass. I do believe we can. We just have to swim across a little bass. There we go. Oh, that felt like a bite. What happened there, man? Come on. It had to have been a bite. Come on, little fishies. There we go, that's a bite. Very small bluegill. He got hooked that second time. So we knocked out this color now. Hooked on top of the mouth. Whoa, 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 quit your flapping little bluegill. Relax, pop that right out of you. I knew we had a bite there. It was real shallow. Nice little bluegill, there he goes. On to the next color. You hey guys, so as you can see, we've knocked out what they call bison, which is the black with the mealworm. That was first fish of the day, a bluegill. Oh. I do not want to lose that. And after that, we caught one on Bulldog, which is black and red. We finally get to go to Bumblebee, which is that black and chartreuse. I really do believe this is going to get a bite extremely well. I really like this color. If I had to pick one color in this kit, it would be this black and chartreuse. And I'm going to show how I rig this. It's kind of tricky because of how little they are. But I normally start with the flat part facing up. And you want to come out on the split of the tail. And try to push that in as straight as can be. There you go. 
nice little black and chartreuse. Let's keep on fishing. Oh, I thought we had a fish. We got snagged. There we go. Snagged on the drain pipe. But then we caught a fish. We caught a fish. Is this a bass? Oh, I think this is a bass, you guys. Finally. Oh, this is not a bass. Look at that. What is that? I've caught one of these before. I am not 100% sure what it is, you guys. Comment down below. This is actually a way bigger one than the last one I caught. Look at that. That is not a bluegill. I'm going to get a quick picture. So I really want to see what they are. Actually, I'll just go off of the video footage. And we'll get them back in as soon as we can. Very big fish. He's not fighting much. Let me wet my hand a little. I want to know what kind of fish this is. Oh, there he goes. He's flapping. He's flapping. What kind of fish are you? Very meaty one, that's for sure. Hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Pop that right out of you. There we go. A pretty big fish, very slimy. I'm trying to grab you. There we go, nice big fish. Let them back in. Let's keep on fishing. Can we get a bass? All right, you guys. Up next, we got this color called root beer, which they call it just brown, but it's actually a brown and white mixture. Let's see if we can get a bass now. So now we have two bluegills and whatever that other fish is. I've caught one before in this pond. Don't know what it is. Some sort of bluegill species, a hybrid, I don't know. Never seen them before this pond. I mean, I haven't seen them at other ponds that I fish. How can I say it better like that? I've only seen them here. That's my second one. That's a pretty big one. I'm trying to go for the bass. I've caught bass, that fish we just caught, bluegill, catfish, all in this spot. They just like to hang around that little concrete. Ooh, I just saw a fish jump out of the water over there. Out of the corner of my eye. Let's try over here a little more. Come on, bass. There we go. Yes, finally we got a bass. Is it a bass? Yeah, that's a bass. Wow, I need to tighten my drag in order to pick them up. Nice little bass. Let's see if we can lip them. We got them. Bit the little root beer color, that brown one. Finally, we caught a little bass. Very exciting stuff. He hammered that little trout magnet lure. Now we're gonna let him back in and go on to the next color. Let's keep on fishing. There you go, little bass. Oh, he was stuck on my finger. 
sharp gums. Let's keep on fishing. You guys, that was pretty exciting. We're finally able to catch one on that brown one. All these colors, they're not taking that long, but you know, fishing small lures increases your chances of getting bites big time. So we already gone through the top row and this brown one. Up next is this like a pink and purple color. Let's see what they call it. Purple haze, pink slash purple. Very nice color. Rig this on real quick, we'll keep on fishing. That was a pretty good cast right there. About three feet from the bank. Now we're gonna reel it in slowly. There we go, there we go. Something got it. Oh, that might be a bass. Oh, it's pulling drag, you guys. It is pulling drag. Let me tighten my drag a little. It's putting up quite the fight on this two pound line. Oh, that is a good bass. You guys, that is a good bass. Can we land them? Can we land them? Look at that bass, you guys. Look at that bass. On the trout magnet lure. The pink color does it again. We gotta be careful here. If he does a hard pull, he can snap it. We got him. Sharp gums. We got that firm grip. Look at that. Purple haze. Big fish of the day. Very long bass. Wow, something's wrong with his mouth there. Very long bass, but not very thick. Very skinny bass. But he has some length to him. That was pretty fun to catch on that trout magnet lure. We're gonna let him back in now. Thanks for playing. Let's keep on fishing. If you guys can see, that last fish was caught on that purple haze. Big fish of the day pretty nice bass but like I was saying he was pretty skinny he's probably gonna start feeding up here right before the winter he's gonna get bigger but he had a lot of length to him that's what they call a good kayak tournament bass you want the length doesn't matter about the weight anyways we're gonna go on to the next color I believe this one is called gold let's see we got two more colors we got gold where is it right there mealworm that's what they call it and black slash green will be the final color I just realized too, I brought this pack for nothing. Cause I just got the little pack in there, but you could easily carry this in your pocket and have your rod with you. And that's all you need to fish for the day. What time is it? 7.30, we ran out of daylight, about like 8.10. As you can see, the sun's still going down. We got two more colors to go. Let's keep on fishing. All right, you guys, we made our way back to the drain pipe, I believe probably where we have a better chance at getting our last two fish that we need one on this color and one on the final color we're running out of daylight so we need to go to where we believe would be best at getting the bites There we go, there we go. We got a bass. Wow, that fish is splattering the water everywhere. He's angry, he's angry. Oh, I knew he was gonna flap. You really gotta give a good grip. Most of the time those little ones, they flap a lot, but we got one on the gold color, finally. So we're now gonna move on to the final color. Let's let him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys, down to the final color. If we can catch a fish on this color before running out of time, we would have completed the panfish kit slam. So our final color is black with green. Almost looks like the black with chartreuse. I'm glad we caught one on that gold. It was taking us a while. But I knew coming back to this spot, we probably had a pretty good chance at getting the bite we needed. Now can we get one on black and green? I'm pretty sure. We just have to find a little bass or a little bluegill. Come on little fish, we are running out of daylight. What time is it? 
It's really starting to get dark earlier. Summer's coming to an end. Come on, bass. Where are you? They're hitting it. They're hitting it. Oh, they did not get hooked. The lure just jumped over here, you guys. They did not get hooked. Let's see. I think we'll get them. They're definitely stacked up right there. Right next to the bank, it seems like. We gotta try that again real quick. We are running out of daylight. Come on, bass or bluegill. Anyways, this is a panfish kit. I'm over here going for bass. We get the bluegills. There we go, there we go, there we go. We got one. We got one, you guys. Oh, it's a little catfish. We'll take it to end off the day. We gotta be careful with this one. Let me grab the pliers. I do not want to get spined. That is a very little catfish. Let's see. These little catfish, they can be feisty. I'm gonna let you go. You're very slimy though. We gotcha. Oh, he's trying to spine me. There we go. Nice little catfish. Quick release, quick release. You guys, we completed the slam and we are out of daylight. Wow, that fish will fly me. I don't like the catfish. Final fish was on that black with green color. Whew. Let's go back to the house. I'll do the in outro out there. That way you can get better lighting. I'll show you guys the kit one more time. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, I'm back at the house now. There you can see what did it today, that panfish magnet kit. You can find these on troutmagnet.com. I am not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend these kits. They will get you bites real quickly. As you can see in the video too, many species, although it's, you know, marketed for panfish and that trout magnet kit is marketed for trout, I still fish them anyways. And the bass, the bluegills, the catfish, they'll all bite this. As you can see, this is the 85 piece kit. So I'll show what, what comes in here. You got split tail grub bodies, 10, and I'll just say the color over here, black and mealworm, 10 black and red, 10 black and chartreuse, 10 black and green, 10 gold, 10 purple and pink, and 10 brown. They also give you 15 hooks. That's the 164th ounce size eight hooks. These are black. Now in my other kit, if you get the 192 piece trout magnet kit, you get the exact same hooks, but instead you get silver and gold. I believe on that kit it's 15 of each, but there you can see those black ones. 164th ounce. This is a very light lure. When fishing these, they recommend, shows you here, 2 to 4 pound test line. Make sure the body is straight on the hook. For best results, use 2 to 4 pound line. You can use a little split shot if you want to cast a little farther. And sometimes even adding the bobbers. They sell some bobbers. I have two in the other kit. That 192 piece kit. Let me rephrase that again too though. This piece. I mean this kit here is the 85 piece kit. This one is $12.99. You can buy it at Academy. I think Dick Sporting Goods also has them. Probably Bass Pro Shops as well. The other one. The bigger kit. Which is two sides. It has all the grub bodies on one side. And then on the other side you have the hooks. And the bobbers. It comes with two bobbers and like 30 hooks. That'll that'll keep you fishing for quite the while. That other kit is actually $20. So it's a better value to start off with that 192 piece kit. The reason I bought these is because you will not get the same colors. All these colors are different from the other ones. So if you want to experiment with more colors. I really like this one. That's my favorite one of today. That black with chartreuse. Fishing all this stained water. You really want those dark color lures. 
to have a better silhouette in the water and you go with your more natural colors in clearer water these all seem like they're geared towards dirty water if any of these were for clear I'd probably say that white and brown or this pink and purple maybe that gold too who knows but that's the kit right there very small kit you can easily put this in your pocket carry your spinning rod combo with two to four pound line light action rod of course and just walk the bank casting and if you ever get snagged just retie another hook pick another grub body and you can keep on fishing this kit will have you fishing for days and you will get biped it's almost like a hundred percent guaranteed you take out this kit fishing you'll at least get one fish as you can see in today's video we caught one on every color that was seven fish today we caught i think we caught more bluegills than anything we did catch a couple of bass that one catfish at the end and that one fish I did not know what it was it looks like a big bluegill we'll just call it a big panfish anyways if you enjoyed today's video you guys please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe